we have to have a concerted effort to delink the two. It's got nothing to do with Islam. There should a term radical Islam should never be used. Because it, it in itself means that there's something in the religion. Our radical Muslims, liberal Muslims, yes, but not Islam. Islamists means there's something in the religion. So this is it, these are subtle terms, but what has happened is this is what causes Islamophobia. And only us, we the we the representative of the Muslim world, only we can do something about it. Otherwise no one else is going to. And once we do something about it, this will then seep into the media as well. And it can only be remedied if all of us, Muslim states, have a concerted, and it, it's only a small, you don't have to have a big uh, lot of material on it. You just have to address two things, the terrorism part and, and radicalism part in Islam, and the other is the sensitivity we feel for the Holy Prophet. Because they immediately, the moment we react, they said they are against freedom of expression, and they said they are very narrow-minded people, and they blame that on Islam. So either way, both these these are the two areas which then feed into uh, Islamophobia in the Western countries, and that's really was my reason uh, to inviting you here today, because I thought uh, you know it's a, it's it's it has to be a, a conversation we all, we must keep having even with your uh, diplomats. All we want is that it will promote harmony amongst humanity. Right now, it's dividing humanity. Thank you very much. Thank you for this briefing and sharing with us uh, your views on this very important international issue. Uh, we all face this and we understand that uh, in the present world, there is this issue which we must jointly find a solution to it. And uh, I think uh, all colleagues will support you. We must explain to international community the difference between Islam, real Islam, and uh, extremism, religious extremism, and terrorism. There is big difference. And we must jointly explain this. And uh, I want to thank you for sharing with us this and calling us and raising this issue. And I'm sure my colleagues uh, will share this information about this meeting with the capitals and also will uh, share with us here their views on this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Turkey in this regard, proud to play its part both bilaterally and multilaterally. <laughs> we welcome and endorse the step the OIC foreign ministers earlier took in Niamey. We are closely working with the UN delegation of Brotherly Pakistan with a view to furthering the relevant OIC decisions with the UN United Nations bodies. We appreciate the efforts of Pakistan leading this uh, initiative from the front uh, very much. It's my pleasure and my honor to be here uh, with this meeting and uh, thanks uh, uh, Mr. Prime Minister to this very important meeting uh, because we are um, now waiting what they uh, want to do uh, from the Western country. They work all together against any country for the OIC. It's very important to do like him together by media, by dialogue, by anything. And I want to, to, to thank uh, Mr. Prime Minister uh, for your support uh, to Palestine and convoy uh, world regards from uh, uh, His Excellency uh, uh, Mahmoud Abbas, uh, the President of Palestine, and uh, uh, world regards from Al-Aqsa. It's for all of them, Islam. Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, Excellency. I am Rahim, uh, Ambassador of Jordan. And we can seize this opportunity to extend uh, uh, our thanks to the uh, Excellency Prime Minister who is seizing any opportunity to address the Islamophobia issue in any kind of uh, international forum. This is what I appreciate, Jazakallah khair. I believe that the, the media plays a very big role in this, and it, of course it needs a very big uh, uh, efforts and a collective efforts altogether as UM. If I may say that uh, 
just after the millennium uh, uh, and in year 2002, King Abdullah II took an initiative and we have released a man message. Uh, it was a, a product of uh, months of uh, uh, meetings from uh, different countries, uh, ulama, scholars uh, uh, in general. It was uh, shown the, the moderate Islam. Thank you. Uh, Excellencies, thank you very much for the uh, initiative and also for the invitation extended to us to hear your briefing. Certainly, uh, Indonesia is also uh, uh, on the same uh, on the same plans. We are supportive of the uh, uh, initiative of uh, Pakistan through the OIC, and there's uh, numerous resolutions already been uh, adopted by the OIC, and it serves as a good platform to uh, way forward. Uh, and I think. Uh, there are two things that we need also to uh, underscore in, in, in trying to make uh, known to the public that uh, with regard to the, our effort. One, uh, many already mentioned about the, the important uh, involvement of media. This is something that is very important. I understand it is not easy. We've been trying also to uh, ask media to arrange uh, meetings among media. Uh, with the with the objective that they would come up with a code of conduct, code of conducts which which inspired them how to be sensitive of other uh, religions or other uh, 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 important issues. But uh, I guess it is worth also <laughs> undertaking once again to organize a, a, a meeting, you know, among journalists inviting journalists. So. Uh, hopefully they would uh, be able to come up with some sort of like a, a code of conduct uh, for their further preference. Uh, there is a lot of uh, interfaith uh, uh, dialogue already been uh, organized involving uh, in interfaith leaders in the West, in, 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 in also in the Muslim world. But without the involvement of media, it is very difficult because in the end, uh, who uh, come up in the in, in the media. The narrative uh, in the media will be uh, will be the direct or will be uh, stated by those who written the articles or every every news about the uh, Islam. So I think the uh, the importance of the engagement of media and in this regard, probably OIC may contemplate of organizing a, a, a meeting among a journalists representing the Westerns and the Muslim uh, countries, so that they can you know have. A uh, frank discussions and reflections. What would be the best ways to provide to, to prevent similar event in the future? So, Prime Minister, thank you so much for uh, your brief sharing with us. It's really important uh, issue. Uh, as my brother, the Ambassador of Turkey, mentioned, the most important thing is to working on the OIC and the United Nations, and I think we should have. The whole map from now uh, put our uh, efforts on it since the UAE will be next year a member of the uh, Security Council of the United Nations and also the next foreign uh, minister meeting uh, for the OIC will be in Islamabad. So I think we have a uh, great opportunity to put our effort on that and working together and make sure. Uh, all of us in this room uh, with Pakistan, uh, supporting Pakistan in this uh, effort, supporting you, Excellency, on this, uh, leading the, the, uh, the effort to, to uh, support that. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister, for sharing with us your most poignant uh, thoughts and views and ideas about this a very important issue, not only to Pakistan, but the whole of the Muslim world. Uh, you will recall, sir, that uh, it was just about two years ago, in this very room, that you and my former Prime Minister, Dr. Mahathir Muhammad, had a very important discussion on this, among others, this particular issue. And uh, it was uh, that meeting took place just a few days after the incident in Christchurch, New Zealand. So both our leaders, you and my, and my former, former Prime Minister, we expressed our resolve to address this issue, including, uh, you mentioned just now, uh, the need for leaders of the Muslim world to engage in a constructive and sustained manner with, our, with the leaders from the Western world. 
where we get them, about the sensitivities associated with Islam and the Muslims and Islam, etc. Thank you very much. Thank you. First, uh, I want to convey the congratulations of Fadilat al Imam al Akbar Sheikh al Azhar to Your Excellency for the month of Ramadan and also for your efforts uh, countering the uh, Islamophobia and he, uh, your message uh, to him has been uh, very well uh, um, received the last month and I think uh, there is a sort of dialogue going on concerning your message. Thank you.